This is a story all about how Wag's life got flipped turned upside down. So do you think that I cheat right now? You already got caught by a detection back in September 2020 and I will never let that go. Ah! This guy was a cheater. 100% caught and banned by Activision for using engine owning cheats. He got banned at the exact time on the exact day that the engine owning ban wave hit. Good news, we have just found out that Activision have banned 60,000 people. This is amazing news. Although it's probably not 60,000 people, it's 60,000 Warzone or Activision accounts. This was the first ever cheat detection from Activision and Wagnificent at the time, an up and coming Twitch TV streamer who played with the likes of Symphony and other big names was caught in that ban wave. In fact, during the ban wave, when it occurred on his live stream, he was actually playing with Symphony or at least in a live chat with him, and he asked Symphony what he did when he got banned. Oh, Wait, right. it actually does say that. Wait, I'm looking at your stream. What? Wait, what'd you do? Me? Like, well, yeah. I mean, the one time that, like, uh, you got, like, uh, tossed. Oh, well, I didn't, get a, I didn't get a permanent ban. Mine was just hacked, and my account was deleted, so I physically couldn't log in. He was already showing signs of somebody who was willing to throw others under the bus and take them down with him. This is something that is a common occurrence. If somebody gets caught and exposed, they will take anyone down with them who they know are cheating too. Magnificent was no different, although he claimed his innocence throughout and still to this day claims his innocence. He spoke out live on stream after his ban wave, claiming that he was going to expose everything, talking about the whitelist and how certain creators are in fact protected from being banned. And maybe have connections within Activision. Uh, they get uh, basically white uh, listed, so they can never really get banned. This was the first we had heard of a large streamer actually talking about the whitelist. But shortly after, many large content creators started to defend him on Twitter. They were all defending Wagnificent at this point, asking Activision to sort out the false ban that had occurred on Wagnificent's account. But he never once got that account back. He made multiple different accounts after that, receiving shadow bans ever since. And anybody who is aware of how these ban waves occur, they detect tracer files from the cheat engine and actually ban the hardware ID that is linked to that account. So Wagnificent was getting shadow banned on a number of accounts after that because his hardware ID was in fact listed as being banned. So the question is, how was he able to move forward as a streamer at this point? Well, he probably used a spoofer for a while, but then moved on to buying a new PC, which would mean a new hardware ID. So therefore, there would be no ban on that ID. However, moving forward, Wagnificent claiming his innocence still to this day, must have been put on the whitelist due to the fact that ever since all of that palaver, he had never received the shadow ban since, he had never received the permanent ban either, but many people still to this day believe him to be a cheater. But that didn't stop him being partnered on Twitch TV, that didn't stop him getting sponsorship deals throughout, it didn't stop him from growing up to hundreds of thousands of followers, maintaining hundreds of concurrent viewers every stream. This guy is allowed to enter into Twitch Rivals tournaments. He's allowed to enter into other big money tournaments also. Even though he was permanently banned for cheating, it would appear at this point all you need to do if you are caught is deny it and all your sponsorships are okay and your partnerships with the platform you stream to is okay. That's how it appears anyway. But this guy was willing to throw everyone under the bus. It's a fascinating story really. How many people can truly trust Magnificent? Probably not many. If he was willing to throw names out there about them being whitelisted, what else is he willing to speak out about? Hey, I'm gonna sit here right now, and I'm gonna talk about it all. I, 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 hey, I, I'm gonna talk about the whole uh, system, bro. I, I, I mean, I'm because I'm pissed. I, I'm pissed. I, I will expose the whole system right now. Literally the whole system. So maybe he is protected for that reason. And that is why he keeps his mouth shut now. But Wagnificent's gameplay changed. 
It didn't change in the sense of him going worse, no. When he created a new account, all of his stats were higher, everything was bigger and better. So does this mean that Wagnificent was never cheating at all? Or does this mean that he's just gone ahead and found better cheats that aren't detectable? Many believe it's the latter. Many believe that Wagnificent still to this day, even in Caldera, is cheating his little ass off. Even after the introduction of Ricochet anti-cheat, Wagnificent decided to state that Ricochet hasn't caught him yet. And the anti-cheat still didn't catch us. This is an ultimate troll. He's clearly trying to take the mickey out of anybody who still supported him after he was permanently banned. People seem to forget things that have occurred in the past. This is a man who was cheating and caught. <laughs> You already got caught. This was a man who was willing to expose the whitelist and willing to expose others for cheating. I, I will expose the whole system right but now. But he quickly got shut up and shut down and quite possibly protected. So talking at this point when Ricochet Anti-Cheat was incorporated about the fact that it hasn't caught him yet, it would appear that he hasn't got a care in the world for his own community at this point. But it even got to a point where somebody was regularly stream sniping Wagnificent and this person was a cheater. But somehow this stream sniper ended up on the same team as Wagnificent. Wagnificent decided to take this opportunity to ask this cheating stream sniper whether or not he believes that Wag is still cheating. And what he had to say was fascinating. So do you think that I cheat right now? And dude, I've, I've spectated you a lot, bro, and watched with my hacks over years. Okay, so say I cheated in the past, and I'm not doing it now. Wouldn't my stats be all worse? Wouldn't all of my stats go down if I'm cheating? Or or was cheating, and am not now? It's just like if a baseball player is bad 250 in 20 home runs, people think he's using steroids. And he comes back after when he's not using uh, steroids, or they say he's not using steroids. At the person starts batting 350 and hits 50 home runs per year. So even after this point and Wagnificent using a very poor analogy of baseball and so on, he still to this day continues to grow. He still to this day continues to maintain his innocence against the cheating allegations, even though Activision permanently banned him on an account he never got unbanned. Does that not raise alarm bells for you? Because it certainly does for me. Magnificent has been and always will be a cheater in my eyes. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about Magnificent. So drop a comment below. And if you did enjoy today's video, make sure you hit that thumbs up if you're new. Subscribe and turn on notifications. If you want to support the channel further, hit the blue join button and become a member of the Triple B fam. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. P -p -p Peace!